Diagnosing slow loading web pages in Firefox. So got this question. When running Mozilla Firefox after ending a valid URL, a very long delay occurs before the chosen page appears on the screen. Various messages waiting for transferring data, TLS handshake, etc. while that is going on. What I want to do is show you a technique in Firefox. It actually applies to other browsers as well. But since we've got Firefox in front of us, and since this is about Firefox, I want to run through this technique that should help you diagnose uh, potentially uh, various web pages and why they might be slow. So let's go ahead and switch over to uh, my browser. This is uh, Windows 10 Home running with Firefox, the most recent edition of Firefox on this machine. Now, I'm going to click on the uh, hamburger, what they call a hamburger menu or uh, you know, the option menu. And what we're going to use is something in Web Developer. Now, Web Developer has a bunch of different tools in it. Uh, the one we're going to look at actually is network, not performance, but network. And you can see that all of a sudden it's got a bunch of interesting stuff on it. Uh, it's been resized here because I was playing with it earlier. Now, uh, if it's not off to the left, like you're seeing it here, uh, you can see that you have different options. You can put it on the bottom if that's more useful to you. Again, this ellipses here at the upper right hand corner of this window might be useful. Uh, you could dock to the right, dock to the left, or you can open it in a separate window. I'm going to go ahead and have it dock to the right here. And then I'm also going to um, basically maximize uh, the window so that we can see what we're dealing with as best we can. Now, right now we're looking at an Ask Leo page. Ask Leo, fortunately, is fairly fast. I've worked on it hard to make it that way. So what I'm going to load up instead is just the MSN homepage, which I know has a lot of stuff on it. And now you can see that there's a lot of activity happening in that right hand window. So you can see, of course, the MSN homepage is still loading things. It's loading ads. It's switching through its little uh, slideshow and so forth. The thing to do at this point is to click this. This is actually a pause button. This will stop recording what uh, is going on. And now I'm going to go ahead and widen this window. And I'm also going to change the adjustment here on a different window as well. You can see that this actually is a time frame. It's showing us a waterfall of all the different things that are happening. We're going to make that basically as wide as we can so that we can see exactly what's taking long time and what isn't. So for example, um, I'm just picking these at random. Uh, this is a file. Uh, what is it called? Visit.js. It's telling us exactly how long it took um, to load this file and the various steps associated with it. Now, if we go back to the waterfall, I saved you a few seconds of my fumbling around here because as it turns out, uh, it's not obvious how to get back to this screen. So if we take a look at, say, say another one, this one took uh, 1.6 seconds to load. If we just click on it, we can see where all those pieces came from. And then this little icon right here, hide request details, takes us back to the full waterfall. And that way we can then uh, go back to seeing exactly what took so long, step by step as the page gets loaded. Now, the interesting thing about this one, and I'm going to suggest you do this on the pages that you're having problems with, I suspect you will find that one of the requests that's being made, or maybe multiple requests that's being made, will take a really long time. Uh, it'll be you know, one or two things will probably be responsible for the very long response times that you're seeing. My suggestion then is that you uh, take a look at what those are and see if there's any consistency across maybe where they're coming from uh, and whatnot. Um, if when you do take a closer look at one of the requests, I'm going to go ahead and just click on the home page request. You can see that there are various pieces to the puzzle, right? Blocked means that it's simply waiting because of something else that's happening uh, prior to it. The DNS resolution, that's the amount of time that it takes for MSN.com 
to be re resolved into whatever its IP address is. This is one of the places where things can take a long time if you've got a slow DNS provider. And it'll be slow across all of the requests if that's the case, in which case you might want to set up a different uh, DNS service. Connecting is the amount of time then once we've got the IP address that we then reach out to the server that's hosting msn.com and expect to get a response from them. If this takes a really long time um, and the next one, TLS setup. TLS setup is basically what it takes to set up the HTTPS connection between your machine and the remote site. Those two are driven by the speed of the remote site, which we are going to assume is very fast, the speed of your internet, which we know nothing about, and potentially the speed of your own computer. Sending is the amount of time that it then takes for uh, the request, in this case, the homepage request to be sent to msn.com. And then we wait. You can see we waited 173 milliseconds for a response to come back from the MSN server. My guess is those th guys are going to be different for the kinds of things that you're seeing, but investigating and drilling down a little bit into what kinds of things might be taking a while um, are your best bet for at least beginning to diagnose the problem that you're seeing. The other thing that this exposes, uh, if we hide this completely, uh, is that, uh, boy, there are a lot of things going on for this busy uh, homepage. MSN.com has a lot of content. Uh, there are, you can see down here at the bottom, 354 requests. That's something else that can cause a web page to take a really long time to download. But those are the kinds of things you can investigate using the developer tools. We're going to go ahead and close it, and that'll give us back our MSN homepage. And of course, the real homepage that I have set for this browser is everybody's favorite website, askleo.com. Hope that was helpful. Hope that lets you make some progress on diagnosing what your speed issues might be. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com.